Welcome back across Connecticut. A number of schools use today's solar eclipse as a learning experience. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland shows us how students and staff mark the special occasion. It's getting thinner. It's getting thinner. With their eclipse glasses on, they look towards the sky. The moon is kind of already blocking the sun. About 100 first, second, and third graders at New Haven's Elm City Montessori, marking Monday's solar eclipse. It's nice to see. It's pretty, like me, and it's really cool. With a lesson not found in a textbook or a classroom, but rather right above them. I think the, the eclipse is beautiful, and I like, like, I like how the sun was like on the side and it's amazing. Like it's a good question. How is there such a tiny part of the sun left but it's so bright out? That's like I'm so shocked by that. For Early Ratchford and Laney Rodriguez, today's solar eclipse offering up a special moment even if there were some clouds in the sky. It's fun how the school provides all these glasses to look at it for the first time. Did you like looking at it? Yeah. While most used glasses and jotted down their observations, Shiloh Anderholt turned a cardboard box into a homemade viewer. I don't really like the, um, what's it called? Glasses. glasses. They're annoying and bad. So all you have to do is put it on your head and you can just look right at it. And that's what they did, now getting a chance to actually experience it after learning about the path and how the moon would be passing between the sun and the earth. Trying to figure out the moon is so small and the sun is so big, how could the moon do that, right? And so we put our fingers in front of each other and tried to cover each other up so they could see that it could, it could actually block out the whole sun. And it's not just here. A number of New Haven schools held solar eclipse events today, bringing students and staff together for a pretty rare sight. Just how rare the next total solar eclipse that will be visible here in the Northeast won't happen for another 56 years, meaning these students here today, well, they'll be in their 60s. This is not something that they're going to see every day. But it's something teachers hope these students will remember forever. It looks more cooler in person. Reporting in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.